It's one thing for me to repeatedly show you how I use the layers panel in simple means by putting a template on one layer, drawing on another layer, but you're gonna be doing a lot more drawing than that. So let's really investigate how the layers panel works. I'm gonna to go to file and open and in my Illustrator chapter three folder, I will go to 3.2 fixing your layers it says fix the mixed up layers so i purposely did an illustration and then jacked up all the layers for you so just so you can see things clearly i'm not going to be using any of these panels right now so i'm going to hit that little double arrowhead to collapse those just so i have room to move my layers panel over and this is exactly why i separate the layers panel because some illustrations require a lot of layers. Okay, if any of the layer names get cut off, you can always pull the right side and stretch it out a little bit, but that's looking pretty good. So this is the scan that I traced, and this is what my drawing is looking like, which obviously is not looking very good. So my challenge for you is to readjust the order of these layers so my drawing looks exactly like the scan I drew it from. So let me show you how this works to get you started. If I notice that there is a background, whatever is behind means below. Whatever is closest to me is at the top. Whatever's furthest away is at the bottom, okay? So I can click right here with my black arrow. Illustrator will find the layer for me. And then I'm gonna click and drag that down. Okay, but here's what you gotta watch out for. If I drag that down, let's say to Fred's other arm, you're gonna see two things happen here. You're either gonna see a thin blue line or a thick blue bar, okay? You want to look for the thin blue line. Let's say again, we take background, click and drag, and let's say I drop it on the thick blue bar. Now, what that did is it created what Illustrator calls a sub layer. It created a background layer inside the other arm layer. Okay, and if I went up to Barney's other arm and I closed the triangle right there, I won't be able to find that background layer. It's gotten swallowed up by this layer. So every layer has this little triangle next to it. You open layers like folders. So if I accidentally do that, I open up the triangle, find the layer called background, and I drag it to a thin blue line. Okay, now the background stays as its own layer. I can close up the Barney layer arm right here, come back to my background and drag it to the thin blue line. So now it's at least at the bottom, which means behind. Okay, I'm gonna look at this wheel. Well, that should be going behind the front of the car. So if I click here, other front wheel, but where's the front of the car? Let me click here. Ah. Uh, Okay, it's on side of car. So that front wheel right up here should go down behind the side of the car, like that. So now it looks like the two logs and the wheel are coming out from behind the front of the car. That looks good. Barney's foot is coming out from behind. That looks good. Um, this wheel doesn't look right. It's buried under the car and it should be in front of the car. So I'm gonna click there. See, the side of the car is way up here. That wheel is buried way down here. So now I got to drag that one back up to the thin blue line. Cool. Got that. Got this little post sticking out where it's sticking out right there. But this big log right here is nowhere to be seen. <clears throat> I can see the tip of it right there. Okay, well the side bumper is way down below the side of the car. So I have to take that bumper, drag it up above the front wheel and everything. 
So now it's sitting on top. Okay, this back wheel has a little post, but I don't even see that post. So if there is something you can't even see, you can go to view menu and outline mode. That will show your artwork in its true outlines. It's like looking at it with x-ray vision. See, there's that little post. So when I click on it, I find the back axle. Now to see what I'm doing again, I go to view, preview. Now I can see all the solid colors again. Well, that axle should come up above the side bumper. We'll, we'll just put it up there, front axle, but I still can't see it. Okay, let me click outside, click on the back wheel. Aha. The back wheel is covering the back axle. So let's pull that back wheel down below the back axle. That edge doesn't look right. It should be going under the back or the uh, side bumper. So I'll pull that back wheel under the side bumper. There we go. This corner doesn't quite look right. So let's click on this one and let's drag it underneath the side bumper. There we go. All right. Now it looks like it's kind of poking out. Okay. So that's looking good. The whole side bumper, the back wheel. Well, notice Fred's foot is in front of that wheel, but Fred's foot is way down here. The back wheel is way up there. So Fred's foot should come up in front of that back wheel right there. So now I can see the little curve and arch of his foot. Notice how these little direction or motion lines are going over the tire. They're not over here. So when I click, well, no wonder they're way down here. They're buried underneath. That back tire is way up there. So I have to take my motion lines, drag them back up in front or on top of the back wheel. So now they cross over that back wheel. The rest of it, I'm going to leave up to you. If you can't see the grill, view menu, outline, or command Y on a Mac, that would be control Y on a PC. Now I can click and find the grill. Command Y on a Mac or control Y on a PC. And now I come back to my color view. I can take that grill and drag it up in front of the car, side of car. And there's my grill. And like I said, cause I'm having too much fun, I gotta stop. The rest of it will be up to you. Your drawing should look exactly like the scan when you're done. You don't delete anything off of here cause I gotta see your scan when you're done. You just readjust the layers in their proper order so once the drawing looks like the scan, you're going to go to File Menu, Save As. And this will be your last name, your first name, Mixed Layers. Or Fred Flintstone. I don't care what you call it. Just a couple of words that kind of describe the file to me. On your desktop, Illustrator file, save it, and click OK. All right, good luck. Bedrock is counting on you.